What's up guys and welcome back to my garage. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we scooped up this here single cab, short bed, pick em up truck. It is pink for now. We're going to change that eventually. But we got the suspension mostly sorted underneath. Even added some lowering leaf springs just for some mid-build motivation. But today is all about the drivetrain. So we're going to be ripping the V8 out of this beast and probably putting it right back in with the addition of a couple of upgrades, of course. So let's get started. We're gonna grab the wrench and just start unplugging some stuff. All right, we got the battery removed, main wires, fuel line, upper and lower radiator hose and transmission all been removed as well. So all that we should have left should be the engine mounts or at least I think. Let me get the floor jack taken out of here. I was I was trying to do something different today. Use the floor jack instead of actually using like the two post lift. I like that thing, but since we lowered the truck, it didn't really help all that much. I think it would have been better if we uh, if we left the stock suspension. But that's boring. That's not what we're about here. So there's one nut right there, and there should just be one other nut on the other side. Now we can pick the whole thing up and transplant it over here onto the engine stand. What is this one? Oh, our DZ. Dude, I forgot about the DZ. That used to be in the Wolf Wagon. We have a uh, inline four with ITBs on it right now. You know, on second thought, we should probably start with this off of the engine stand. That way we have easier access to the flywheel and uh, the clutch. It's got that whole pressure plate system right here. So let's remove that first. I mean, obviously, the flywheel is going to need to be replaced. Whoops, I loosened something I didn't mean to loosen. We're going through the whole dang engine anyway, so it's all good. Hopefully, it was just a flywheel bolt. No. Nope, we're not going to get that lucky. So, it's probably something in the bottom end then. But let's get that taken off. Ooh, that, that right there, that's a bad crank. That is a very bad crank. I'm kind of curious. Maybe we can peek our head in there. See what that's really looking like piston and connecting rods don't look terrible i think it's i think it's actually just a bad crank oh no we've got one bad piston right here okay oh there's another yep good news is the pressure plate and the clutch disc actually look totally fine we just need a new flywheel so i'm gonna grab one of those real quick before i forget what other transmission we got over here that's a five speed it looks like it was mated to this engine once upon a time I could have swore we had another uh, V8 transmission, but maybe not. Kind of curious to see if they have a five speed. I don't love the four speed in that truck. So let's sort this by B200 with the V8. And that's not gonna give us anything. So let's switch it up to something else that has a V8, perhaps the Jesse. There it is, a thousand bucks for a five speed gearbox. We need it though. We really need it. And then we'll transfer over that um, that starter because that's that's still good. We'll transfer that over to the new transmission. We can sell the four-speed for a little bit of extra cash. Oh, I forgot the flywheel. The whole reason I, I went to the catalog in the first place. 138 bucks. There she is. Oh, I totally forgot to mention this too, uh, but I did do a grind live stream here on my garage. If you missed it, make sure to check out the second channel, 2G2. Catch all your stream bods over there. There's six bucks back for a, a rusty flywheel. But all I all I did, you guys didn't miss too much. All I did were rust repairs so we can make a little bit more money. But it's important that I mention that because now all of a sudden we have or had like $24,000. So just in case you were curious of how we just made all this money all of a sudden. But now that we've got our flywheel and our transmission figured out, we can start working on this V8. I'm going to flip her over. I think that's going to be the easiest way to go about doing things. And then we'll start by just removing the oil pan. Maybe we'll be able to pull the pistons out that way. Piston and crank. I guess we're probably going to have to take some stuff off the front as well. We'll figure it out. We've been through this a couple times now. Hey, even though this ain't our first rodeo, I just learned that you can remove the whole water pump assembly and the alternator just as one big unit. That's kind of nice. Saves us a little bit of time. So now we just have to get this front cover removed. And then that should give us access to remove the crankshaft. 
we should get a high horsepower crankshaft, shouldn't we? And while we're at it, the high horsepower camshaft, distributor, I mean, I mean all this stuff. Spark plug wires, rockers, I think we need two of those. And then eight high horsepower pistons. Side notes, the catalog does state performance parts are now found in town, even though we were able to just get all of these. But I do still want to go out there and just kind of see what the store has to offer. Maybe there's some new stuff that we haven't seen yet. So these non-high horsepower pistons, they're going in the scrap pile. We'll bring those to a scapegoat one of these days. I think I'm also going to buy the fuel line and the main wires since those are rusty and corroded, just kind of overall very very disgusting looking um and let's head to bed oh wait we kind of have the engine out of the truck we got some other cars in storage we could probably drive but yeah let's let's head to bed we'll grab some food in the morning and then we can start making our way out to uh the town now which one of these whips are we going to take into town el camino is kind of a death trap so i feel like that's already out of the question lad coop is very fast but it doesn't have a lot of space for storage still got the air tank in the back for the air ride system does it even have bags still oh yeah they're still under there no idea if they still work though uh the niv is a solid choice too because there's no back seat or anything plenty of space decently fast not a death trap but the wolf wagon already has some damage it's already damaged so i mean we might as well still runs like a freaking dream dude we're gonna try to hop the curb here oh this thing's kind of dirt nasty low yeah that's a bad idea no cars are gonna come down the street we can just we can just park right here let's go see our boy luis luis how cheapest performance parts in town you do you you definitely definitely do but is there anything new here since the last time that we were in no all right cool man even though he doesn't have anything new for us to check out i believe parts here are slightly cheaper than if we were to buy them at the catalog at our own garage so i'm gonna get these two uh performance cylinder head covers and performance cylinder heads yes yes please do we need a new intake manifold probably not but actually we do because we're putting a blower on old girl we gotta do it we just gotta do it i don't know how i feel about the scoop necessarily oh and then we're gonna need the carb specific for the blower but yeah i don't know how i feel about the scoop maybe there's a, a hood with a cutout for it but i haven't seen it just yet oh we are cruising right now wait no brakes no brakes Okay, that might have been intentional. Just making sure you guys are still awake, still with me. I was kind of hoping that our boy Luis was going to have like some new cool six-speed transmission or something crazy, but he kind of kind of disappointed, to be honest. But let's grab our wrench, and we will keep taking this V8 down the rest of the way. I wasn't able to find any performance spark plugs in the in the parts catalog, so uh, did you notice your socks aren't matching? Uh I don't I don't have a physical body in this game. So good one. Good one. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, here we go, that he has the high horsepower spark plugs, so we're gonna need eight of these guys. We're back at the garage, and it's time to get right back to work. I'm gonna start with the cylinder heads, getting those new spark plugs we just bought put in them. And then we'll uh, make sure we remember our head gasket before we get these mounted to the block. I was looking for another block as well, but I'm pretty sure we're limited to just the 5.6 block for, for V8s. Would be really cool if there were something with a little bit higher displacement, but maybe someday, right? Well, that's a bit of a bummer. I gotta stop using these dang trolleys, dude. I'm pretty sure my uh, timing chain just poofed. I bumped the trolley a little bit, and it's it's probably over in the in the grass over there or something. Just got sent flying. So 
I'm going to buy a new timing chain really quick, and we'll be able to continue. Another slight setback here. I can't find the blower anywhere. I'm fairly, fairly confident in saying that I bought one, but since we don't have rear windows on the wolf wagon, there's a good chance that it flew out on the way on the way back to the garage. So I'm actually going to take the bike, something I, I haven't ridden in quite some time, and I'll just pick the thing up if we find it and put it in our backpack. Uh, okay, this is a this is a problem. This is a problem. I can't steer the dang bike. Why can I not steer the bike? Is the is the tire flat? Like it looks it looks fine, but it's definitely clipping through the ground. I'm gonna try to air it up, but if it doesn't work, dude, I'm selling this thing. Like, it just takes up space in the shop. It constantly falls over all by itself. Let's see, can we even spot the valve stem, or is that? also in the ground oh no there's another car coming yeah i think it's i think it's in the ground okay let's try this again can we actually steer oh that is so much better okay time to go find that part ain't seen nothing so far this is the only other turn where it might have fallen out, or it could be back here at the store. No. Okay. Wait. What the heck is that? All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check that out here in just a moment. Stay. Just gonna leave you running. Please don't tip over. That would be not ideal. Uh, a new blower. There it is. Let's well, add it to the how back. Can I help you? Hey, I'm good, man. I just yeah, I had to come back for something. What is this though? Oh, it's scapegoat. Missing VIN just means you pay less. Is that a problem? Oh, this is his, uh, this is his parts store. I remember. Okay, nothing new. Nothing new. You know what? I hate the bike so much. I think, I think I'm honestly just gonna sell it. 4,000 bucks? Sure. Might as well. I, I really don't want to ride it all the way back to the garage. We're just gonna catch a cab and that's that. Isn't there some type of, like, crankshaft pulley for the blower? There is. All right. That's hopefully the only other thing that we are missing. Like I said, hopefully the only other thing that we're missing. Turns out our accessory belt also just decided to poof without a trace. So I'll get a new one of those, and then we'll be good. This thing is so beefy, it's taller than our workbench. That's kind of kind of crazy. Oh, I still didn't look for a new hood for the truck either. That might be a junkyard only find, but I, I've only been looking at the um, like engine components. So I got no idea just yet. Let's get this clutch pressure plate bolted up. And that is that. There really isn't a hood for it at least not not here like i said maybe a junkyard find if we're really lucky but i'm thinking we're just gonna have to remove the hood for the time being there is a slight possibility that this big old behemoth might fit underneath the hood maybe you know what i think there's a chance i'll i'll try it here in a minute but let's get the whole uh, rest of this thing buttoned up. So starting off with the engine mounts. We've got one right there. Bit of lag. Always a bit of lag when you're fitting a, a new engine to a to a vehicle. Okay, that didn't bump up our price whatsoever. But we're not trying to sell this thing, so I'm not super concerned about that. We're going to break out the old floor jack again. Get the exhaust resituated and uh, get the transmission put back in there. We should be able to take this thing around. Oh, wait, we've got all this stuff as well. But that's super, super easy. Now, where did I leave my wrench? Right here.
All right, the deed is done. It's time to find out if this hood will actually shut. Yes. I don't love that the scoop... Well, we could take the scoop off. Yeah, let's just take the scoop off. Wait, can we really not? We really can't use the filter without the scoop? Scoop is required, apparently. I'm just going to leave these two things over here on the bench for the time being. But I want to see if we close it now. Oh, yeah. Zero clipping. Zero clipping whatsoever. Plent Dude, we would have had plenty of room for just the filter. But... Again, it doesn't work that way. It'll still run fine, just like this. No worries there. Um, but now it's time to find out what I forgot, which usually it's something. Could be anything. Well, we're going to need more coolant because we disconnected all of that. Let's check the Earl. It's going to need some more Earl as well. I want to know what you guys think of my straight-up custom window treatment here in the office. It's cardboard. Three quarts of Earl later, how we look in. Spot on. That is what I'm talking about. All right. You know what? I'm going to quick save in case it blows up or something stupid. But let's see how she sounds. More importantly, how she runs. Still sounds like a V8. Though if we put her in reverse Terry and get on her a little bit, we should hear a bit of that supercharger whine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always kind of felt like the wine was a bit too much. But that's okay. We have a supercharged V8 single cab short bed with a five-speed transmission. You know what? I, I got to go to the bridge. Let's head to the bridge so we can uh, see if we're going to need a new diff or not. This is a 3.8, so we might actually have to go a little bit higher. We'll find out. There's third, fourth, fifth gear. Are we going to top out the speedo? No. Okay, so yeah, we're probably going to want to change the diff. She scoots, though, man. She really, really scoots. I am in love with this truck. Doesn't like to turn. Definitely, definitely doesn't like to turn, but I think that's mostly due to the fact that the front right tire is completely bald. It keeps going flat on us. But this thing, dude, what a machine. What a machine. Now all we have to do is change it from pink to literally any other color and get some new uh, rims and, and tires for it. And then she will be mint. I got a, a couple ideas as far as a, a color scheme goes, but I, I don't want to spoil the next episode. That's what we'll be getting into next time. But there she is. There you guys have it. I do think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.